Hello everyone and welcome. Everyone has probably heard of capacitors, especially now that supercapacitors are becoming popular for hobby purposes. But what is a capacitor exactly and how do they store energy? Let's find out. Capacitors are used in almost all electronics. Capacitors can be used to hold the charge of electricity. The larger the capacitor, the more capacitance and the more energy it can store. In this experiment I have this LED with a series resistor. I also have a 9 volt battery. The LED operates on this battery. I take a capacitor and charge it by touching the battery ends. If I connect the LED to the capacitor, it will drain the charge. It will fade out as the capacitor is running empty. A smaller capacitor will have less capacity and can store less energy. Therefore the LED will fade out much quicker. A capacitor is no more than two conductive surfaces separated by an insulator or dielectric. When we connect the power source, like a battery, here is what will happen. The right surface will be positively charged. The left surface will be negatively charged. Opposite charges attract. The electricity can't move through the insulator, so therefore the charges will stick to the dielectric. The charge is being built up between the surfaces and the dielectric. This can be compared to a tube with a rubber diaphragm in the middle. If you create high pressure air on one side by blowing on the tube for example, and low pressure air on the other side, the air will have the tendency to move to the low pressure side. But since there is a diaphragm in the middle, the air can't move, but it will stretch the diaphragm. When we now close the ends of the tube, the energy will be stored in the diaphragm. Since the construction is so simple, it is easy to make a capacitor yourself. All you need is a conductive material and a dielectric. The conductor in my example is ordinary aluminium foil. I cut two pieces of the foil. For the dielectric I use just paper. I put one piece of foil on the table, the paper on top of that and the other piece of foil on the top. The battery on top is only to keep the foil down. Next I take my multimeter and measure the capacitance. It is about 0.2 nanofarad or 200 picofarad. We notice if the conductors are further apart, the capacitance will drop. This can be explained by the base formula for capacitors. This is the base formula. I'm not going too deep into this, but here is the basics. C is capacitance measured in farads. A is the surface area of the conductors and D is the distance between these conductors. And the weird symbol determines how well the insulator behaves. In simple language this means that for a large capacitance the conductor surface should be as large as possible and the distance between them as short as possible. One way to increase surface area into a small size is to make them round like many capacitors are. They are simply rolled up strips of conductor and dielectric. This can be simply made as well at home, like I did here. I made a strip of paper with aluminium foil on both sides. Then I taped another strip of paper on top. I then rolled the strip around the battery. When measured it has a capacitance of about 390 picofarads which is even higher than the first one I made. As you can see, the principle isn't that complicated. Of course there are many different sizes and shapes and nowadays with supercapacitors new technologies, but the principle remains the same. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave questions and comments below.